The most interesting thing in fighting games are the attacking combos, when you just combine a bunch of keys to get like a move, maybe a fatality in a quarter combat games or Hadouken in Street Fighter. I'm not really a big fan of fighting games, but I like these small combos. So let's cover that system together. Let's see how can we achieve the combo system in fighting games. Subscribe, sound the horns, and let's get started. Hi everyone, it's Sir Fadrik, and welcome back to another adventure in the game Mechanic Quest where we take a deep dive into famous game mechanics and try to code them out as simple as we can using Unity. In this quest, we are trying to create the combo system in fighting games. Before I start with the system, I needed to create the test scene. And I wanted the test scene to look as similar as a Mortal Kombat level. So I started by looking out the art and the sprite for the 2D animations. And I found this cool website and inside it I, I found what I am looking for. I found the background and I found the sprites for the character. It took some tweaking in Photoshop to get the movement that I want. I need the movement to be as simple as I could. I removed the jumping, the crouching, everything, just the basic punching and kicking and some special moves here and there. So after that was going into Unity. I started to get the animation ready everything was in place it took a really long time to get the sprites ready get the sprite even and the animation times to be set then it was time to create the animator controller for the character setting all the moves and all the transaction between every move and another and make sure to use triggers here in the animator because each move in its end the, tr the trigger will get back to false and you will have to code less and less than using a boolean variable and one more thing, you have to make sure that the animations are set to not loop. After that, was adding the simple background and it was time to do some scripting. The structure here is pretty simple. First, we need a way to just get all the keys that are pressed each time. And resetting that list every once in a while. Next, we need to send this list to another class to just figure it out and read it and see if we can do any moves inside this list. After that, this list or the moves that we can be found will be sent to another class, a brain controller class that will play the animation or the move by the player. To start this scripting adventure, I start with creating the control manager script, which has the keys press list. This list is very simple and contains all the keys that are pressed by using the detect pressed key function that will move through all the keys or key codes in Unity and choose and or find out what key has been pressed and form it and add it to the list. And then after adding the key, we will start a coroutine that will run for a combo reset time, it will be set by the user, that will clear all the list and reset the operation once again. After that, we need to start working on the moves manager and the move script. The move script is a pretty simple scriptable object that will contain the move type that are located in the moves enum. Moves enum contain all the list or all the moves that the player can do. Then we let's go back to the move. In the move uh, class, it contains a move keys code that will contain all the key codes needed to perform this move and in the specific order by the player. After that, we have the move type and the combo priority. So if we do a simple bunch, this is a low priority. But if we do like a fire breathing uh, combo, it will be higher priority and should be played first. After that, uh, it has also a small function is move available that will return true if the list of pressed key contains this move. And that's it. So you will in this move class or move skeptical object, we can set in the unity as we can see now in the inspector, we can create as many scriptable objects as we can. For example, let's see here the fire press move. It requires five keys the, uh, and the combination are up, down, SSD we will then perform this move. The move type is press fire and the combo priority is five. This is our highest priority. Next, we need to go to the moves manager class this class will contain a list that have all the moves available to the player and it will have some small and normal functions first one 
is player move or play move this function will get the list of all the key codes that has been pressed at this moment and will just loop around all the moves and send this key code or this key codes list to each one of them and if the move available send it to the player controller and send the combo priority this class is simple as that one more trick in this class is that we have to sort all the moves based on the priority to play from the hardest or the highest priority move going down our final script in this project is a player controller script which has a pretty simple code just one main function that called play move that will be called from the moves manager sending the move type and the combo priority the class will just check the priority if the priority of the move that has been sent is less than priority of the moves that's been played ignore that move go to the switch and just find the move and set the trigger of that move to the animator so the move can run the simple system is pretty awesome we can add as many moves as we can and it's pretty amazing i'm really proud of this most contraption and this code structure that is light and very upgradable i have comments in the code that could tell you where you can upgrade stuff or where you can leave them and to get into unity all you have to do to get this system to work is just having the managers and controllers connected to game objects and filling the moves manager script with all the moves available to the player just make sure that each move have its type described in the moves enum and having its place in the animator tree so you can't have a move without an animation we can't have, we can't have an animation without a move and by just adding the simple uh, text debug on the screen to let you to help you more testing the game or the system and now if you run the game it's pretty straightforward we can do some moves like uh, left ss will do the hook shot uh, right ss will do a knife stab uh, S for uh, punching, D for kicking. We can do up S uh, to do like an uppercut or double uh, or up SS to do a double cut. We can do a uh, uh, up kick to do a high kick. Uh, right left uh, D to, to create like a round kick. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward system. It just move with the combos. Our final one is up down SSD will do a fire breeze. And system is pretty easy to add like a moving to left to right and jumping and everything the player need. I just want to get the combo system working and ready. Uh, you can find this project on my GitHub page. You can follow it, links in the description and feel free to share it, start it with everyone and really hook it and try to have fun with it. I hope you liked this video and if you made it this far consider subscribing and joining our kingdom over on discord links also in the description and now don't forget to like share with your game developers friends and subscribe see you all in the next adventure